Why should we use a journal within Jump Software? They can be very intimidating. When you create a new journal, you're presented with a blank window, which is just sitting there waiting for you to add content. But what content should you add? And why should you want to use a journal? My goal for this video is to make journals less intimidating by giving you four distinct use cases. My first use case is to use a journal to maintain a catalogue of scripts. I have an example here which is a collection of scripts that I developed whilst working on a machine learning project. And this journal has become an invaluable resource to me. It's allowed me to retain the knowledge and to reapply those techniques. Specifically, the journal allows me to organise my scripts by topic and I can give each script a descriptive name and a short summary. And that summary is sufficient for me to understand how to use that script. Ultimately, this type of journal aids knowledge retention and reuse. And at any point in time, I, I can see which scripts I have available and I can just pick and choose the ones that I need to use. The second use case is to share a single script. Here I have an example journal. I've developed a JSL application for a client. And one of the functions of that application is the collection of measurements from an online balance. Unfortunately, IT sometimes come along and perform various upgrades on, on systems, and we have to re-verify that we can connect and collect data from that balance. And this is done by using a simple script. And the easiest way that I can send that script to make it available to the client is to embed it within a journal file. So this type of journal is ideal for distributing a small script together with instructions. And it's much less overhead than developing an add-in, which makes it much more suitable for one-off work. And for the user, it's a much more visual and intuitive way of working with the script compared to just receiving a JSL file. My third use case is to use a journal for saving and sharing a workflow. My example journal relates to the analysis of gauge R data. Well, this type of analysis is straightforward within Jump Software. The problem comes in that the data is typically collected in an Excel spreadsheet, and that spreadsheet has a shape and organization which is very different to the structure required by a Jump Table. And that means an extended workflow is required to import that data and to make it amenable for statistical analysis. So this type of journal places an emphasis on the logical sequence of tasks that need to be performed in order to achieve the desired outcome. By placing the tasks in a journal, it means that those tasks can be applied consistently by a group of scientists or engineers. Ultimately, that leads to an improvement in productivity and it aids the sharing of best practice. So my last use case is to use a journal to document and to share knowledge. The example I'm showing you is a journal that I originally developed for a talk that I gave at a user group meeting. But I often refer back to it whenever I want to analyze data based on time series models. The journal contains much more information based on text and images and it can also reference external resources, including PDF documents, PowerPoint slides, and web pages. And ultimately, the goal is to document and to share knowledge, and to use scripts to illustrate different concepts. So in this video, I've tried to summarize and give examples of the different ways in which you can use journals within Jump Software. But perhaps you have a different way of using a journal, and if so, please uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and bye for now.